Yo, what's going on? It's 5M Creation, bringing you back another video on how to pour forward your 5M server in 2025. Before we get started, if you're currently looking for another 5M server to play on for the meantime while creating your project, you can always join my Discord community. The link will be on the bottom of the screen and it'll also be posted in the comments. I welcome you to the community. If you guys want to support my work so I can keep making these videos, you can head over to the same Discord. Once you join, I'll send you to the welcome tab. From there, you can scroll up till you see events, browse channels, and server shop. Click on server shop and you should be able to see the three tiers that are available. From there, you can read each tier individually because they all have different benefits and perks. And if you guys want to peek behind the scenes on what videos I'll be creating next throughout the whole year, that'll be the super supporter tier. Hopefully, I see you guys there. Now, let's get right into the video. Now, if you guys have been watching the 2025 series of how to create a 5M server, what you guys want to do, I showed you where to put your resources on the home screen and also your server and your TX data. So, just open up the file where your resources are. Now, you just want to click on server. Now from here, you should see an endpoint for TCP and UDP. So for mine, it's going to be 30120. It doesn't matter what you have. You could have 30130. It doesn't really matter. But mine is 30120 for this video. So with your number picked in mind, you want to head over to your Windows search bar and type in Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and hit Open. From here, you just want to full screen. Now on the left side, you want to, on the left side of this menu over here, you want to click inbound rules. Now on the right side, there's going to be an action menu right here. Now you want to click new rule. From here, you want to click port, hit next, and you want to make sure you click on TCP, specific local ports, and you want to type in your number. So mine is going to be 30120, and I'm going to hit next. I'm going to click allow connections, hit next. Make sure these are all applied, hit next. And it doesn't matter what you name it, but I'm going to name my something different for organization purposes only. You can name it, name it somewhat different or similar. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to name mine 5M test server TCP and hit finish. Now you're going to want to make another rule. So just go to the right side where the action menu is, press new rule, go to port, hit next, hit UDP, specific local ports, 30120, hit next allow connection next and the name I'm gonna do 5m test server UDP and hit finish <laughs> now this side's done so from here you can just minimize out go back to your Windows search bar and type in CMD also known as command prompt and hit open full screen that I'm gonna type in IP config it's gonna pop up a whole lot of numbers. So for me, I'm ethernet adapted, but if you're wireless, it should show up the same thing. But what you want is your default gateway. The default gateway should be your modem address to get into your modem, to your settings and all that. But if it isn't, just go over to your modem and just get the address and we'll continue to the next step. So you can just exit out of CMD. Now you just wanna open up a browser. doesn't matter what browser you use, but I use Opera GX. Then I'm going to type in my modem address. So mine is 192.168.0.1 and hit enter. So uh, if it gives you an, uh, like a certification, like um, authority thingamajigger, um, just press the help me understand. And then there should be a, like highlighted proceed unsafe. Just click on that and it should send you to your modem. Now you just want to type in your password. Hit apply or hit enter now all modems are different i'm not expecting you to have the same modem but for me i just go to advanced setup now on this left side menu over here it's going to say port 40. so just try to get to the port 40 on your modem and just keep following along so i'm going to press port 40 and right here it says select the LAN device or manually enter an ip address so just type in what my ip in a browser if you don't have it or what i like to do to make it a lot easier on myself is i like to press this drop down menu and select my desktop and then for your LAN starting port just type in 30120 now for number two this is it's going to say select protocol then enter one ports to forward so for select protocol you just want to press on this drop down button and press tcp and udp make sure you press that now for your starting port starting port 30120 and for your ending port 30120 and hit all ip addresses and hit apply wait for it to save in the modem once it saves you can just minimize out of that minimize out of that head over to your server files 
scroll down to where you see FX server and open your server up. And boom, your server should now be showing on the 5M server browser and listing. Just give it a little bit to refresh and you should see it there soon. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys have any problems, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Or you can just head over to the Discord, make a ticket, and I'll try to help you there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and peace.